Hello and welcome back to part two of Lug Dunham. I've uh, had to reload the game because the enemy showed up and made a fool out of me. So I've had to go back to an earlier part. I don't know how much this overlaps with part one, but we do have our work cut out for us here. And first of all, we're going to have to be more serious about our military situation here. Much more serious because they come and they come big time. So we are going to put in some towers and try to make sure that we don't get taken over by the enemy. Right? Because they didn't leave. They just hung out in the woods. <laughs> They wouldn't leave. So we're going to be making sure they don't stick around this time. Darn it. Went back to the autosave, found one that was approximately the same time. We may be overlapping just a bit, but had no other choice. I had to start again here. Just being honest, now we're going to put some towers in here. We'll fight the enemy off. May even put a militia out here. It's just always a good idea. Yeah, this will make it better for these guys to fight. That's good. Now, let's see. Let's take stock of the city here. Did I put that other... Okay, all right. We've got that going on. Oh, it's so sad I had to start over again. So we don't need anybody way over here. So we can put in another... Troops, some troops here. And even though it's April, we have to go into some debt here. Oh, come on. Oh, boy. All right. Well, we need a ship bridge. Huh. I'm gonna put it there. I won't let me go straight across. Oh, that's dumb. Uh I guess that's it, man. So it's going to be. I'm going to mess that up. What's this? Weapons? Oh, gosh. I got to put them somewhere. Now, welcome back to part two, I should say. I'm uh, a little taken aback by the ferocity of this military approach here. That was crazy. I didn't realize there were that many people going to come at me like that. Oh. 
Okay, so I'll put some people in here. And I still need a ton of people. There we go. Get a ton of people, we'll get a ton of people. Let's get them. Okay, they got an odium. They don't have a theater. Everybody's open for business. Except for Dacia. Alright. Open up Dacia. Okay. Trade Depot. Um, what the heck here? Oh, okay. There you guys. We need some trade routes open here. I think it's 65. And it's a rainy night. The rain is falling outside. You may be able to hear the patter. Cool things off, I might. That'd be nice. And let's see if we can handle this invasion when it comes. Oh my god, they just keep coming and coming and coming. I'm gonna need a lot more military than I realized. And we got no place to put it either. Okay. Come on, we got a lot of guys. Let's maybe put in some more weapons factories. More armor factories. factories and armor factories let's go of course I also wanted to put in a couple of furniture factories and a couple of utensils factories I think we got enough to handle it. Just in case. There's a lot I know, but we're we really have to beef up the military here and uh, make sure we got everything we need. That does include doubling up our sheep pastures.
with un warehouse right here okay good orders furniture and utensils because we're not going to sell any jewelry here it's all going to be for trade and once we get these other trade routes going we'll make up some money we'll be able to open up some jewelry factories over here nope mercury's benevolence nice okay we didn't finish the wall yet thought i did <laughs> thought i finished the wall nope didn't finish the wall how are we doing here now all right well some military guys coming in let's go because we're going to need another another legion maybe over here Okay, we're getting around here. Put a road, we have some road access and put a tower on this side in case they try to attack from the side. But it will not be successful. No, nope, can't put another one in. Oh yeah, I can. Okay, good. I'll do it. Got militia, got these guys. Maybe even another one of these guys. It's October. I better wait. Besides, we don't have enough weapons and stuff for them yet either. And the mess hall has to go a long way to get over here. There is uh, food over here for fields over there. And over there. And there's, wow, there's big fields over there too. All right, well, that might help later. Right now, we got to chill. Chill out, man. So Nero's in Rome at 60 AD, I believe it's Nero. Uh, 60 AD, yep, he, he was uh, emperor from 54 AD to 68 AD. And, uh, you know, uh, Jesus was long gone in the 30s. Oh, you know, it's many decades after that era. And Nero is being a great artist in Rome. I think the people liked Nero at first, but then the Great Fire happened, and uh, some say that Nero set the fire himself so he could clear out a residential area and he could build his his great palace to himself, his monument to himself, and uh, he did that, and people hated him for it. They absolutely hated him. I want to hook this up. Don't think that matters really. 
Can that ship stop there with that sh bridge right there like that? I don't know. I hate to have to buy another bridge. They're expensive. That's an important trade route. I will wait and see here. Okay, 10. Good. What do we got over here? Three. Okay. So, that's good. Another cavalry auxiliary over here would be nice. I'm telling you, they come real strong. Okay. Okay. We well, yeah, have some defense now that we didn't have before. Installed our wall. Well, they put us behind the eight ball here. 75. Not bad. 187. Middle class guys and just 85 of these. But I think there's some more. Yeah, there's a lot of evolution to go on there. 4,000 people. That's good. They had a school, but they need... How much is a theater? 300? No. Oh, January. Good. I'm going to put a theater in at least. Right here. I went through most part two already, and I had the upper class done, and I had the wall done, and oh, everything was just happening. I had lots of money. And then the enemy showed up in force and they just kept coming and coming and coming they wouldn't stop and so i had to go back to the auto save to right around where part one ended i hope i got it right if not there might be a little bit of a gap but it won't be much Yeah, that was our trader. He did get his. Very nice. Okay. Okay, got food. Nothing food, no food here yet, but they'll get around though. people to feed here too that's the thing Let's see how this granary is doing here it's got some meat in it but we could use some more vegetables ship it out This, that, and the next thing. No sofum. What I would like to do is get this going over here. First, import gold. It's eating all that up. There's no meat in here. Oh, well, they're still cooking, I guess. Yeah, they're still cooking.
But he gets stupider? Yep. So that one guy, poor guy down there. Okay. All right. Oh, there's some gold. I'll open up these other trade routes here for jewelry. I want 80 jewelry. Okay. Let's wait on that one. Okay. factories we don't really get that much gold so let me start off with two and put a little jewelry in that warehouse So the Jewish rebellion is going on in Palestine. Nero is fiddling while Rome burns. He blamed the Christians, but some say he said it himself. But you can't trust the Romans. They lie, especially when it comes to defaming earlier emperors. All right, we got some food in here. We got some guys in here. All right, good. These will be reserves that can come across the bridge. What I do want is missile auxiliary. The guys really take it out of the guys, so let's put one of these guys in here too. Maybe two. Well, I know that's a lot of guys, but we need them. These guys, will, these guys over here, will take a while to get over there. But we need more weapons. More weapons, it is. Keep it going. That should help. Now it's June. Need to invest some in this wall. Okay. 
Oh, we didn't even go into debt. That's good. They were put an actor's guild in here. Okay. The method. I always thought that was kind of crazy. But the method acting thing. To become the character and never break character for the whole time you're the character. That's crazy. Let's slow this down. Let me recite you one of my favorite poems. Songs, actually, by Bob Dylan. Uh, it's called Desolation Row, and kind of feel that way with our politics these days. They're selling postcards of the hanging. They're painting the passports brown. The beauty parlors filled with sailors, and the circus is in town. Here comes the blind commissioner. They've got him in a trance. One hand's tied to the tightrope walker. The other's in his pants. And the riot squad? They're restless. They need somewhere to go. As Lady and I look out tonight on Desolation Row. Cinderella, she looks so easy. It takes one to know one, she smiles and puts her hands in her back pocket, Betty Davis style. And in comes Romeo, he's moaning. You belong to me, I believe. Someone says to him, you're in the wrong room, my friend. I think you better hurry up and leave. And the only sound that's left after the ambulances go is Cinderella sweeping up on Desolation Row. The moon is almost hidden and the stars are beginning to hide. The fortune-telling lady has already bought all her things inside. Except for Cain and Abel and the hunchback of Notre Dame. Everyone's either making love or else expecting rain. Quasimodo, he's dressing. He's getting ready for the show. He's going to the carnival tonight on Desolation Row. Ophelia's neath the window. For her, I feel so afraid. On her 22nd birthday, she's already an old maid. For her, death is quite romantic. It wears an iron mask. Her profession is her religion. Her faith is her lifelessness. And though she still looks upon Noah's great rainbow, she spends her time peeking in to desolation row. Across the street, they nailed the curtains. They're getting ready for the feast. The phantom of the opera and the perfect image of a priest. And masquerading Casanova, he's feeling so assured. They'll kill him with self-confidence after poisoning him with words. And the phantom is shouting to skinny girls, Get out of here if you don't know. Casanova, he's just being punished for going to Desolation Row. At midnight, all the agents and the superhuman crew go out and round up everybody who knows more than they do. And they take them to the factories where the heart attack machines are strapped across their shoulders. And then the kerosene is brought down from the castles by the insurance men who go to make sure no one's escaping from Desolation Row. Yeah, I read your letter yesterday, about the time the doorknob broke. When you asked me how I was doing, was that some kind of joke? These people that you mentioned, yeah, I know them, they're quite lame. I had to rearrange their faces and give them all another name. But right now I can't read too good. Don't send me no more letters, no. Not unless you mail them from Desolation Row.
Bob Dylan, the greatest songwriter of our age, in my opinion. I know a lot of his songs. I play a lot of them. And I like to recite them, too, if I don't have my guitar and I'm sitting there. That's the way I can remember the lyrics. I didn't read those lyrics from anywhere. That's how I remember them. Well, we're a half an hour in, and the dastardly rebels haven't shown up yet. See how we're doing. That's our cavalry from the world. All right. 11 of 20. Oh, if we could get these all at full strength before they show up, that would be just great. How are we doing? 10 of 20, 10. 5. So we're doing pretty good. 4. Nice. We got $5,000. Nice. All right. Good. Can we, do we dare to just start going ahead and putting in our rich folks and try to win this game before it gets too weird? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think we can. Because they're coming, whether we like it or not. All right, we're going to put in an arena. There's another Bob Dylan song that I'd like to recite, too, a lot. It's called With God on Our Side. Of course, Masters of War, if you know Bob Dylan's music, Masters of War is, I think, one of the greatest songs ever written. And uh, I could re play that one for you. I'd rather play that one for you. Maybe someday, as we continue on with the missions, I'll break out the old guitar and play for you a little bit. You might get a kick out of that. Of course, you can look up my... Uh, Previous videos, and you can find you'll find a lot of Bob Dylan on there. Oh man, I don't know. Maybe this won't do it. Oh, it did good because those rocks are messing me up. I don't need it. I think we need four of these. About one. I know those bad guys are going to show up any minute now. Come on, let's get all the guys we need. I, I think I do have every thing I can do, you know. Okay, there's two. Of course, they need water out here, of course. And they'll need everything because it's so far away. There's three. Okay. They don't have any water. I know. I'll get them some water. I'll get them some water. Believe me, I'll get them some water. Okay, and maybe just one more on this side, right here. There. Nice, he's got nice riverfront property here. Oops. Okay, uh, reservoir, if I put it here, will it reach everybody? You know how that's done, right? My little trick. Oh, this guy, this guy. Well, if I push him down a little bit, I'll take him out. Got plenty of money. I'll put him down here. There. And I'll get some water. Of course, we'll have to put in bathhouse. I didn't leave him much room back here. Might be better to move the wall farther out, like here. Right?
and take out this thing, do a little changing around here, and then because uh, we get most of our timber from across the way there. Okay. So. And we'll put our mess all out here. Oh, dogs at midnight. We'll go in here. Then he can go and get it. Come on, hurry up. Get out the way. Bad guys are coming. Useless. My dogs. Oh, come on. Okay, not okay. Not okay. Darn it. There. Oh, Jesus. Sloppy, sloppy. No, oh, I guess that'll have to do. Hmm. All right. Okay. Oh, just all that food wasted. Oh. There. See how that opens that wall up? Isn't that great? My brother Jack found out that. That's the Jack Mandelaire. Slam the gatehouse in. Good old Jack. Oh, I miss him. I haven't seen him in a while. I really, really miss him. Like, no, you know, I'm like a good old buddy. You know him since you were born, huh? All right, we got this ugly wall out of here. We don't need it anymore. And we got ourselves some room back here. Let our upper class breathe a little bit here. And now, apply as a three. Make him happy. Okay, well, we're getting right along. They haven't showed up yet. They will. And when they do, it is really something, let me tell you. Now, I just want to give these guys desirability. I don't want to spend a ton of money when we don't have it. Because it's late in the year. And it's expensive. Just wind it around the houses. Thirty-five prosperity, so I put down four mansions, and that should be good enough. Oh heck, let's just do that. There. Okay. Healthcare, 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 healthcare. All right, we can wait till next year.
All right, the uh, labor looks good. With 278 of those guys, of the middle class guy, we got too many of them. But that's okay. We got $400, good. I'll donate two and make sure we got it. That's good. And I hope we have enough military to fight off this huge invasion that's coming. Give the enemy something to burn down here. <laughs> okay. It's just so I can put a mess hall out here for these guys. Why not? Mess hall. Grain farm? Grain farm, vegetable farm, and a cattle farm. Okay. There you go. And a granary. And a prefecture. An engineer. And a mess hall. Mess hall. $966? Okay. There. Let that cook. Speed it up a little bit. And that'll help keep those guys happy. How are we doing? 11, 10, 10, 9. And there goes 10. Okay. Hold off, guys. But I'm much better off than I was the cheat when I already did. <laughs> okay, 5,000 citizens, and we have to get 6,000. Okay. All right. Is everybody... No, we still have some more to go, so that's good. All right. How's our trade routes doing? 50 of 50, good. 7 of 40, but we just got started on that. We might never, out, you know, we have to import gold, so that could be problematic. 50 of 80, 54 of 80, so we could definitely use more help there. 40 of 40, we're all set. 5 of 40, so a lot more help there. 25 and 21, so they're doing well. 0 of 65. Zero. Oh, there they are. Do we fight them? Yeah, we fight them. We fight them. How come we're not selling any clothes? Do we not put down the clothes guy? What? What are these guys doing over here? No wonder we didn't sell any of those. They're not supposed to be... Oh, wait a minute. Yes, they are. <laughs> I'm in the wrong place. Sorry. <laughs> Boy, I'm really stupid sometimes, but you know, it's hot in here, you know, and I, I'm sweating, and I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm an idiot. Let's see what I'm doing wrong here. They aren't selling anything. Why? Well, because I'm an idiot. Oh, yeah, all right, you're an idiot. I forgot. Okay. There. I don't get to sell some clothes. These guys got a million clothes. Where's the warehouse for clothes? Did I not put one out here? Oh. Well, that's not clothes. I gotta have a warehouse for clothes. Just to see if I'm making too many of it. I thought I did put one out here, but I get confused because I already did this part once. Now I'm doing it again. Well, let's see if we can't fight these guys off this time. Hopefully we can. Okay. Need more help. Here they are. Okay. Now there's a million of these guys. Here they are. Oh. Alright. Well, we might be able to take them. Uh, uh, the 
easy day was yesterday. We do more waiting time by 6 a.m. than most people do all day. Or to stay by those towers, so when they come in, they have to deal with that. Let's get these guys over here. It is a good day to die. Good. And these guys. We're only full troop, but we got enough of these guys. Should be enough. There they come. There they come. They're coming up over the hill. We have a lot of guys here to fight them off. The towers. Yes, they're bad, but... Look at them all. My name is Guy Marius, and I am an honor of one. one. Be Jesus Christus! Superman out there too. <laughs> there the arrows flies. guys just being stupid <laughs> music so we prevailed good I have to start over again I apologize if there's some overlap between the uh, first part and the second part but I didn't defeat them last time they defeated me and they didn't go home they just stayed so we have prevailed and I did it right and I'm glad and I'm so happy we took the brunt of the hurt hurting and now they can go home proud proud as can be and they get their triumph which we will put out here as a great display statue of me isn't that nice and we'll make it a nice park let's see what I'm doing here There you go. And they'll come back again. But that's okay. We got plenty of stuff to do. Okay, good. Let's see how our stats are doing. We got it. That's great. Probably not doing too great with favor because we haven't been able to get that up. Security 77, Culture 43, Prosperity 20. So we got a lot of work to do. 
One thing we got to do is put in a gladiator guild. And we'll put that out here. It's not no easy, easy to get to get all these dudes coming in and go. There we go, so we'll speed them up a little bit. And we'll get some points for culture. There he goes, he's got his weapons. Nice. My guys are coming home. What? What, more bad guys? Oh my god, there's more bad guys. Ship it. Hmm. Well, let's see. They're gonna come out? Well, I guess not. Where are they? Okay. Wow. It is a good day to die. Get out of here. Get you to Texas. Oh boy. Hey, hey, just tell me who is this with the body. Everybody? Very diminished forces in the house. Give me a chance to get rebuild my military. Cause they're all gone. If they come again like that, I'm done. Wow.
too little entertainment? Really? You got a lot of entertainment. You want more entertainment you need. $92. Too little entertainment. There we go. Closing in on part two. We got through it this time. And now if they'll give me a chance. There goes our security down the tubes. But let them give me a chance to rebuild my military. Which I should be able to do. And save up some money. Market right next to this granary for these guys. Yeah, I'm about right here. That's good. They'll come out there. And to prepare for the future, put a rock market out here. There we go. Just a few more minutes left. Uh, Hopefully we can restore our military. And I think I'm going to make sure I'm not selling any of this. Unfortunately. Because we need all we can get. How are we doing? Okay, we're doing good. Good. All right. Let's do it. Okay. Pretty good, look done him. That was quite the invasion. Okay, plenty of clothes out here. Maybe we can get rid of one. All right, we're selling our religion. Okay. Get them evolving up to exotic goods and then we can do that so we get the money. How about that invasion? I had two invasions, one right after another. Wow. Okay. It's so close to that, we could do that too. It'd be nice. Gotta get some favor up. But we got we got to use all our weapons. Weapons. Armor. All right. Well, I'll put down this one, and this one will be on nothing until he asks for something. 
and we can actually do it. We can't do it now because we have to rebuild our military. But once they get to be full strength, if they ever do, before they come again, um, we can then step up production of weapons and stuff. You know, stockpile and all that. It's out of goods. It's out of goods. Too little entertainment. It's out of goods. What is it not getting? Entertainment. Got an odium. Theater. Arena. It's got the same entertainment everybody else got. I don't get it. Well, he'll have to, we'll have to wait till he comes back around. How are we doing with labor? 117, not too bad. 117. We're still evolving some of these houses out here. The newer ones I put in, okay, still good. Very good. And I think we could plaza this up, maybe make things better. Mercury's benevolence is, of course, always appreciated. He gives us money. Okay. Okay, all of this is going to be plaza. One up here for these guys. Doing that again. Remember the last time I did it all white, but this time we play our classic classist game here we are Rome after all that's what they were into no doubt and you know a lot of the corruptions of Rome are visiting us in our day since we are a neoclassic republic based on the Roman Empire food and slavery um, we are going down the same road of militant empire Rots from within from corruption because the worst people rise to the top in a corrupt society. Not the best people. So our rulers become the worst of us, not the best of us. And that signals the decline and fall of an empire. Empires fall in slow motion, but they do fall. But that'll have to wait till the next part because guess what? We're over time here. I get so carried away with all this stuff that I forget that I'm supposed to do this and one hour jaunts so this episode is over ladies and gentlemen as difficult as it was we're on to part three and continue to evolve and execute this excellent city so stand by for part three to come up and thanks a lot for coming along on this excellent and challenging mission thanks a lot Gamer Jamer, over and out.